I think is a nice way to memorialize her outside of what happened. Memorializing a young woman who was murdered. Police say that her ex-husband did it. Our tennis reporter Rachel Bianco is live in U University Heights with what the family of Julia Jacobson is doing to honor her legacy. Rachel. Steve, you can see flyers are still up in Julia Jacobson's neighborhood. She lived all over the world when she was with the military and tonight her family is hoping to help another young person serve their country in her honor. Julia Jacobson was an army captain, a devoted daughter and sister. Her commitment to serve often took her away from her family. The first time she went to Iraq, we all got um, yellow bracelets and she sent them to us as a way to remember her. And now the family is using bracelets again to help keep her memory alive. It's just a, a symbol that we need to find her yet and to just treasure her memory. Julia's sister Casey hopes people will wear the bracelets until the remains of Julia and her dog Boogie are found. Someone has been arrested for murder, but we still want to find her. We need to find her. That someone is Julia's ex-husband. Police say evidence found in her abandoned car led them to Dalen Ware. They believe he killed Julia and her dog Labor Day weekend somewhere in San Bernardino County. I think too much attention gets focused on the the crime and the defendant. Her sister wants Julia remembered for the way she lived, not how she died. I think it's a nice way to memorialize her outside of what happened. Now, these bracelets are available on Amazon for $20 each. Uh, ideally, the family would like to see the scholarship go to another young woman who ultimately uh, plans to go into the military. Reporting live in University Heights, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.